What I saw in Birmingham was a place, you know, my hometown with a tremendous amount of potential and a lot of young people, but there wasn't a lot of sort of leadership development and there wasn't a, a good outlet for the combination of learning, socializing, and serving all in the same place. And, you know, when John and I got together in 2003, his dad was kind enough to invite both of us to a meeting of the Downtown Rotary Club. And we were very impressed by the format that they had there. And we saw a lot of other young people in the audience. And we wanted to create the same sort of environment, but tailored more towards young professionals. So having the same you know, focus on the highest quality speakers and, and the ability to interact with them, but also adding on a little bit more social elements, so, you know, layering on the fun, and also more hands-on service, you know, where people could actually be exposed to the challenges and opportunities in the community and actually put their hands on things and see areas of the community they might not otherwise be exposed to. We started the club with 30 members. In the last 10 years, grown to over 280 members, and we hope to see it grow to over 500 members, and we think that's a real possibility. Everyone says, aren't you, you know, overwhelmed by the success and the growth of the club? And the answer is no. You know, we, we always expected to be the largest road rat club in the world. I mean, from the very beginning, that was something that we had in our mind. And it's not just the size of the road rat club that's important, but you know, we wanted to be the best road rat club in the world. We wanted to be, you know, have the best and brightest people in Birmingham and give them the best opportunities to learn, socialize, and serve. And we really see the long-term value of Rotor Act as creating a generation and future generations of experienced leaders who are exposed to the challenges and opportunities in the community. There's just going to be a compounding effect on the quality of leadership in this community and where that goes, time will tell.